Hey everybody, welcome back to the Cup of Joe Morning Show powered by J.O. My name is Colin and today we're talking about content creation. Uh, and so at J.O. I've been spending a lot of time making and editing videos and developing other deliverables for social media. And so today I want to share three tips with you all um, that have been super helpful for me on creating social media content. Uh, so first, it's super important to stay current on the algorithms and trends of the social platforms that you're working with. You know, each platform is different, and so, you know, it's super necessary to stay, you know, up to date on each. Are people using animation? Are people using GIFs? What about just text? You know, following the ever-changing trends and algorithms on these platforms will definitely help you boost impressions and engagement um, on your social content. And then secondly, it's really important to find a balance between quality and quantity. I know I've been guilty of perfectionism, but at the end of the day, we've seen you know, so many examples of low quality, kind of basic posts um, go viral with really high engagement. And so while having professional video and audio is often a must, you, know, you shouldn't stress over repeatedly fine tuning all of the minuscule details. Um, you know, often you'll lose time by focusing too much um, when you could be creating more content. And so third and lastly, um, you have to keep it original. Um, now, like I kind of alluded to in the first point, it's important to consume content yourself because you can get not only information but also inspiration from other people's work. I know that I get inspired when I listen to different types of music. Um, but also, it's really important to keep your content and all of its components original. Using your own footage and your own audio is always best for your brand. That's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Now get out there and just brew it.